that blockchain is a new way of building our information technology in a way that's truly never been done before. The blockchain is my darkest nightmare. The blockchain is a way of coordinating computers all over the world in a way that they uh, have always the same information. The internet is about the exchange of information. Blockchain is about exchange of assets and exchange of value. Because of the blockchain, in the future there's going to be less reliance on central points of authority to handle data and to handle transactions and the rules around how that data is used. Blockchain is the final sort of crest on that tsunami of digital technologies that will really challenge fundamentally the way we structure society. It really is a generic technology like the web. You can build almost any kind of political system on top of it. It can enhance almost any political model. So what we're going to get depends on what it is we choose. With this technology especially, you are working on, you're chiseling away on new kind of society. In terms of relating to each other, the number one thing as human beings we use is trust. Blockchain allows to replace trust with proof. In developing countries, for example, first of all, it's in payments. There is no infrastructure in certain countries of the world and peer-to-peer -peer system powered by blockchain can bring new opportunities for those people. If you can take a penny a day off a billion people to do R&D, you could begin to have collective management of quite large funds if you could have charities run by the poor for the poor rather than have charities run by the rich for the poor. And you can't do that today because transactional costs eat all of the micropayments you need to pull together to get something like that done. I believe that blockchain will offer new opportunities within the supply chain, so knowing the heritage of the goods, knowing what we are buying, know it, what we are wearing, knowing who we're talking to. Inherently, a supply chain, something moves across. And generally, they don't actually share data with one another. But with a distributed ledger, they're forced to. Once a transaction is entered into the blockchain, it becomes very quickly an immutable truth. Imagine you have a record that you can't erase. Like everything else on a blockchain, once it's posted, it can never be removed uh, or in uh, blockchain lingo it is uh, immutable. When we talk about blockchain and having something on a distributed ledger, we still have to worry about what it will be in 5, 10, 20 years time. A smart contract is a piece of code now on the blockchain which performs the function of a legal contract without the interference of a possibly a corruptible human agency. In a way, code is law. We don't control it, we can't alter it once it's been implemented, and it will do what it's been built to do. When you're looking at money, you're looking at governance, you're looking at law, you know, that's not trivial stuff. That's not just something that you can reinvent with a few lines of code. The redefinition of society will happen in smart contracts in these kind of places, unless the law courts are actively ensuring that people are getting disenfranchised. Information systems, they are fundamentally social. And when we think about um, a bank or a certain organization, we have to understand that it's not only technologies we have to be aware of, but also the social interaction of people. And we have to understand how we can map that into the system. At the moment, we're building a new reality that's based on how a very homogenous group of people sees the world. Developers are implementing systems and they make millions of small decisions all the time. And the tapestry of these decisions then makes a system. And that system then decides whether you get a mortgage or not, or that system decides what you see of your friends. Do we want a, a bunch of very young, bright, but solely trained in computer science, basically men deciding what our society looks like. We have to make sure that we find a way of extracting our intentions in a way that it's understandable by both the machines and the humans. We need a Hippocratic Oath for developers, mainly because a decentralized computer infrastructure does not necessarily mean decentralized power. I think it's so important to differentiate between blockchains and the blockchain because a lot of the vision you get in corporations or startups is that there is one blockchain and it will be theirs. 
something that everyone needs to participate in, the discussion about society and economy and also governance, how we rule ourselves. These are topics that we've been discussing for thousands of years. The blockchain represents a similar function as constitutions or even manifestos for groups. So it's this idea that you write down a set of ethics and then you act by them. Particularly artists and kind of fringe groups have always been like very innovative in terms of governance models and the way in which they organize and cooperate with one another. And I think that the blockchain creates an opportunity for those forms of governance to become legible and usable by other communities. Because of blockchain in the future, we'll have a new economic system. We'll redefine the way that governance is done. So the role of government and what it means to be a citizen participating in that government is going to be challenged and changed. We're going to have to rethink those definitions of transparency, of trust, of what an intermediary is, and how those things come together and form something um, that we call a society. We don't know what a blockchain can do yet. We'll